We have three more races before our uh, afternoon break here at Wackersdorf, and this time it is race nine of the meeting, heat two for DD2. The grid is as follows. Poland's Sebastian Janczewski, who won the first race earlier on today, will start from pole position. Alongside him will be Niklas Kreins from Germany. The Czech Republic's Peter Bessel and Glenn Van Parijs from Belgium rounds out the top three, uh, top two rows, ahead of Jani Gussens and Manuel Tenscher from Belgium and Austria, respectively. Jakob Bessel from the Czech Republic, Mick Nolson from the Netherlands, Zander Pschurlak from Belgium, and Matthias Lund round out the top ten. Oliver Breitenbach will start alongside Wout Antonissen, representing Germany and Belgium respectively, with Florian Breitenbach, Zen Derua, Marcel Steinert, Imke Arts, Maxim Dehisch, Nicolas Picot, Mark Bartels, Luke Schiepers, Jiri Matashek, Silas Ritter and Daniel Mahacek rounding out the 23 strong. Ten minutes on the clock set to count down the minute we go, lights out, plus an additional lap. Red lights ignited on the starting gantry. So once again it will be down to Janczewski and Krenz to control the grid. They will be the ones setting the pace going into the tram lines as everyone tries to filter in to their relevant grid positions before we go into the tram lines. Round through turn 14 we go. They split. Revs start to build. We go lights out and racing. As it was nearly side by side between Glenn Van Parijs who goes round the outside into third position. That was a great move round the outside of Peter Bezel. As now Bezel starting to struggle. It looks like Manuel Attention not too far behind in fifth place. Jan is in sixth, as it looks like Zander Triblak again has got another great start as the Belgian up into sixth place. As one driver getting swamped from all corners and gets a bump from behind and goes grass tracking. Oh, and that was from Zenderu. That was up the inside of the 4.15 of Wout Antonissen. So Antonissen, as there's more changes a bit further down the order, as the 4.23 of RS competitions, Marcel Steiner gets passed through turn 12 by Nicola Pico from Dams Racing. A bit more of a close quarter combat affair as Van Parijs up the inside, past Janczewski, as Krenz has hit the front of the field. As Triblak looked to go up the inside of Manuel Tensha through turn four. But right on his back bumper is Jakob Bezel. As up the inside goes Janczewski on Van Parijs. Pena Bezel tries to go around the outside but loses out two positions. Trying to go towards the outside of turn seven. Loses out to Manuel Tensha who now is trying to get past quickly. As Sander Triblak nearly makes it three wide coming out of turn ten. Van Parijs goes on the defensive. Tensha just behind. As Jakob Bezel goes round the outside, coming out of the exit of turn 11 on Sandra Trivlak. As it all Constantina's behind. So Niklas Kren starts to pull away from the 483 of Sebastian Janczewski. Tension now up into third. As now Van Parijs is dropping. As a result of it, he's just been passed by Jakob Bezel. And just behind him, Yanni Gustafs is there, as to are the two Breidenbachs, Oliver and Florian. As it is every driver out for themselves in this qualifying heat stage. This second one has been, I think someone's... Oh, there's been a multi-card incident off of going into turn seven. And one's lost the front. The front protective plate on the NASA, which has been stricken towards the uh, approach between turns five and six. Three carts involved as there's the 437 I've just seen Luke Schiepers and there was a bit of debris flung from the back of it so whether he caught that as a result of the incident that happened in front I'm not too sure so one driver's race came to an abrupt end and I've got to think that's Yanni Gussens Yanni Gussens has he gone out That is the case, it was Jan Gussen, so Zendera was in the melee, but now the top, the uh, first and second place drivers are now Niklas Krenz and Sebastian Janczewski. Tensha now up into third, 
Sherblak up to fourth. The 461 of Better Bezel is quickly followed by Jakub in the 460. And then you've got Glenn Van Parijs, who now rounds out the top seven positions. Nicola Pico from France has now got up into eighth place. He had a mechanical black flag last time out and wasn't able to showcase the speed that we saw at the Winter Cup and also at Karting Genk as Van Parijs strikes and goes slingshotting his way past Jakob Bezel through the apex of turn three. Bezel tries to fight back through turn four, but Van Parijs very quickly uh, knew it was coming. But then just up ahead of the 419 from Bubin Power, you've got Penner Bezel, who's in fifth. Son of Shiblak in fourth. As Manuel Tenscher in the 484 still holds on to third of the minute. A bit of a defensive move there by Son of Shiblak, as he does not want the 461 of Penner Bezel to get past. Van Parai is now starting to close too. Five minutes and 50, still remaining on the clock. Yanni Gussens is confirmed as an official retirement. Zenderua was up into the top eight position, uh, top eight. But obviously there were multiple cars that were involved in that and it was quite difficult to pick out who exactly was involved. But that has changed everything. Florian Breidenbach all the way, dropped all the way down to 20th position. And with Zenderua and Luke Schiepers rounding out. Oh, there's been another collision, this time involving uh, Silas Ritter and I think Ginny Matashek was on the receiving end as a result because the driver's cart went upwards on two wheels going through turn six as now the 433 of Florian Breitenbach has been given a five second penalty I would imagine that's going to be for causing a collision but I will wait for that sh to show up on the official timing screens halfway down halfway to go just under five minutes remaining Keynes has the lead of only just over two tenths of a second as Janczewski now trying to hunt him down. So it's Germany versus Poland on the former's home soil. As just behind, Zan of Schriblak now up into fourth. Looks like Peter Bezel as, oh, Nicola Pico goes steaming up the inside like a steamroller to try and make another position. He's made the move. So Pico on the move quite pretty much uh, quite sig <laughs> significantly and just behind him Daniel Mahacek has come back from stone dead last on the grid but the biggest point now is to concentrate on the two leaders as well because Janczewski wants to get the double done so far and he's trying to do his best to keep within striking distance he's going to take a wider line coming through turn three get the run going down to turn four as the field makes its way through Shriblak, Pedro Bessel, Manuel Tenchuk, Glenn Van Parijs ran at the top six. Nicola Pico and Daniel Mahacek ran at the top eight, followed by Jakob Bezel and Marcel Steiner from Germany. And Steiner is now closing on the Shriblak train, who is leading from third to ninth at the moment, with Steiner running at the top ten. Matthias Lund is leading uh, Oliver Breitenbach, and you've also got Wood Antonissen and Mick Knowlton in that four-cart scrap. Looks like there's a couple, there might be a couple more positional changes as Pico goes up the inside of Van Parijs through turn 12. Mahacek forces his way through and he gets past the Belgian. And Jakob Bezel waiting for his chance to get past the 419 does so on the final corner. Gets through and then Van Parijs quickly in the slipstream of the 460 who is the defending and reigning champion in this class having secured the title that this time last year. And Daniel Mahacek has clearly got the fire struck and it's very, very hot at the moment because the 4.30 is absolutely red hot in terms of putting the lap times down. 49.626, the best lap. Now Tenshuk has just, now I'm wondering, has Tenshuk got an issue? Because he's just pulled out of the way of Nicola Pico and Daniel Mahacek. Now Jakub Bezel gets through and then Van Parijs tries to steamroll his way up through on the inside of turn 12. And Tenshut, I think, shut the door there. And then on the back of Glenn Van Parijs is Marcel Steiner from Germany in the 423. He's going to try and go up the inside, nearly drifts wide going through into turn three. So the pendulum swings forever from side to side, and that's what has been doing this entire race so far. We have just over two minutes, plus one lap still to go.
Anthony Klaskains holding on to the lead for the moment by just three tenths ahead of Sebastian Janczewski from Poland. Sander Szyblak up into P3. Fourth is Petr Bezel, Nikola Pico and Daniel Mahacek round out the top six. Jakub Bezel being followed by Manuel Tenshut with Glenn Van Parijs and Matthias Lund. Uh, Marcel Steinert rounding out the top ten. Matthias Lund in 11th, Hunt Antonissen, McNaughton, Oliver Weidenbach and Silas Ritter running out the top 15. Gap slightly extends in the favour of Niklas Krenz for the lead. As now Tenshuk getting all argy-bargy with Jakob Bezel trying to get past the 460 and Glenn Van Parijs senses that he's got the ringside seat and I think also Mar Marcel Steiner thinks that too because they're just waiting to see what unfolds in front as they go through turns 9 and 10. Oh, hefty into the barriers. That now that was going Van was that Glenn Van Parijs off of turn ten. That was Glenn Van Parijs that was just literally pushed wide. I think there a full spin straight away. Van Parijs safely out of the cart. But that was a hefty hit. So the the guys at Moving Power will have a bit of work to do, unfortunately. So 30 seconds to go on the clock, plus an additional lap. So we fast approach the conclusion of the race. So Van Parijs now becomes the third confirmed retirement. He's got to sit on the sidelines, unfortunately, after that. He was fighting so hard all the way through. So the leaders come across the line. Last lap board is out. Gap between Niklas Keynes and Sebastian Janczewski. Now over four tenths of a second. Sander Schreblak, he's 4.1 seconds behind, but he's still leading the battle for what is third place at the moment as Nicola Pico fancies his chances on better Bezel, but so does Daniel Mahacek. And those two have pretty much been working together and then to engage in their own private battle this is going to get quite close and personal between these three as they battle away for fourth position. Be Bezel goes defensive on Pico. Mahatek trying to sweep up the inside. Can't get through. Again, Bezel goes defensive through turn 12. Pico ran the outside. Oh, goes off the grass, goes bumping on the grass there. Loses out big time on the final lap. Tried to go round the outside of Bezel, but Mahatek will be behind him. But Niklas Krenz takes the win. Sebastian Janczewski takes second. Zander Schublach in, in third place ahead of Petr Bezel. Daniel Mahacek in fifth. Jakub Bezel in sixth. Nicola Pico still kept the throttle pinned. And the Frenchman with pure, <laughs> pure savoir faire, I think I'm going to say here, finishes seventh ahead of Manuel Tanschert. Marcel Steiner in ninth. Matthias Lund in 10th, Mick Knowlton in 11th, ahead of Wout Antonissen. Florian Breidenbach, Mark Bartels rounds out 14th position ahead of Zenderua. Imke Arts, Silas Ritter, Maxim Dehish and Jiri Matacek all finishing all 13 laps. Oliver Breidenbach pulled it into the pits with just two laps to go. Glenn Van Parijs having that hefty accident out of turn 10. Eliminated on uh, lap number 10, unfortunately. Luke Schieper's, his race ended on lap four, with Yanni Gussens out on lap number two.